Hi guys, so today we're just getting some breakfast in Hart Bay and we're gonna go hiking up Table Mountain at 10 o'clock. So let me just show you where we're gonna be hiking. have some breakfast and then we will be on our way okay so we're gonna do a big hike we're gonna circle around the side okay, around the side and then when you see that dirt road there, that right in the dirt middle, road there. yeah that one yeah. we're gonna turn off and go up the mountain up that ridgeway yeah up to that high big peak this one there yeah and right behind that peak we're gonna find a lovely colony the only colony of Desera admirabilis and then some cunifolia and alicia as well are there it's a big, big colony of big plants, so that's going to be the highlight, basically. Also, on that peak, we'll find Ramantasia and some Drusera hilaris. Hey guys, so we finally made it to our destination, and you can see the mountains in, in the back. This is where we, we're hiking, right? Up this way? Yeah, we're going up this way. Going up this mountain here, and I'm with Odin. Say that's hi. It. His Instagram page cool is Cool Carnivores, so you can check him out there. Lots nice. of... What's of wild drosera and orcas and stuff super cool that's how i actually met him so we we actually found some of our first drosera what just drosera capensis yeah drosera capensis and, and this is a very very low population i've never seen them at this a low-lying population yeah, yeah exactly uh, they usually like the altitudes it's super quite a nice. cool little one this the colors are quite nice are yeah they? i'm no expert on the capensis but i know some people absolutely love them mm. it's so cute. some american dudes love them eh? yeah yeah jeez it's a, nice, it's a nice little population. They're getting a lot taller though. This is them slowly dying back. Yeah. And they completely die actually. It's interesting. Yeah, it's really nice. It's nice to have them slow it down as well. As, exactly, yeah. Okay, so we, we're going to head up up here. And I'll get back to you guys when we've gone a little bit further up the mountain. But the leaves are actually almost double as thick as these ones. It's like, it basically looks kind of like a guillefolia, but it's a hilarious. Look how thick these leaves are. I mean, look at these lovely flower stalks here. Yeah, look at that. Should give a little shake to see if there's anything comes out. Wow. Look at that. Thousands of big seeds dispersed in here. That's so nice. And we're not even that high up on the mountain yet. We still have to go. Yeah, check this one. Yeah, really going dormant. It's just, well, maybe mm. they're broken off. But this is what they all look like. They all just die completely back. You wouldn't know they're still alive. Wow. And then once winter comes and the rains, they come right back to life. That's so nice. Look, look up there. Up there all it's a pity the they're not all actually flowering as well. They literally have just had their last flowers. Wow, look, look, how, look how nice little seed pods they are, eh? Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> the collectors are just salivating right now. Yeah. I wish they were here. <laughs> wow. So it's a nice little colony. It is a lot of yaks. Yeah, yeah growing. Yeah. Check here, yeah, all, all along here. I mean, look at what they're growing in. This is like clay. Yeah, look at this, this stuff. So it's essentially like clay stuff. And it's not even that moist. You can, But it's kind of loose, actually. You can stick your finger quite deep into yeah. it. Yeah, check that. This whole, this whole thing here is loose changes your opinion on how we grow these plants. Check these red things. Do you know what these are? No clue. The kids that act almost like clovers. Wow. So we on the way up and they're still quite low down. It's really nice. All, all along the sides you can actually notice them if you really pay attention. So we, yeah, so here's some here, yeah, but this area has recently been cut by people. So unfortunately these ones are almost out. Yeah. Here's one has one dormant. Here's a nice one. That's too, a nice though. one, yeah. Now well, these are quite thin these. Is it thin as not very one? sticky. Oh wait, here's a sticky part. Yeah. So you can see, Hilaris is not an effective catcher. Nah. No. no bugs on it. Not too much stickiness. Sticky. Every now and then you'll find a big catch. That's just because there's so many. Yeah. So much sticky, sticky stuff. Yeah. So we're just trying to get the the puppies up onto the mountain. <laughs> Sparky, come here. Come up here, boy. Come here. Come, Sparky, come here. Shame. Again, are you going to keep walking and he should come up? That one never really has a problem, he's just lazy right now. He thinks he's going to go back down. We have all, all, th all three other puppies. Oh, he's running back. Why does he 
doing? Anyway, look what we're hacking through now. Bundabashing. Yeah, Bundabashing is what we call it. Lovely in this ravine. This is amazing. It's so weird, all these big trees, so much moss in them, but there's no epiphytes. Wow. Like, no epiphytic orchids. That's mad. There's ferns and stuff there. The biggest colony of Dressera hilaris is. Yeah. Yeah, they just, I mean, these little fields of them. It's amazing, like inside of the, all the fame boss. It's just, mm. I did post a picture at one point a while ago uh. on Instagram. Where they're very, very green because they're getting almost no sun there. It's, an, I've never, yeah, it's mm. amazingly shady. Those in Cunifolia just are fine in shade. We just hiked up all of this. I pretty much died. Odin, Odin doesn't give a s. So it's easy for him. Not quite, eh? The dogs are tired. You can probably hear them. But we just stopped under this little tree. It's quite nice actually. Such a nice view. And you can see where we're gonna go. We're gonna go around here. Into this ravine here. And around here. We could go down this pathway here. We'll continue down there. Depending on basically how I feel. Because this is easy for you. <laughs> and we've got some huge um Alicia to see there. And some tiny Admirabilis. Don't Both know. which we'll see before, but not the same variant. So it's quite, there's some good rewards if we're willing to do it. We're nearly near the top. We're on a flat bit. There's Odin waiting for me <laughs> to catch my breath. But look at this. We're standing on a rock. I'm scared as I shouldn't be swearing. This is insane. Wow. This is mad. We're still looking. We just saw some Tranovia there. That's actually sure. Oh, you gotta come back down there. You just got up. No, no, no. I'm just gonna show you. Oh, there's the spot. Just like. In relation to that rock. They're right under there. I saw some Tranovia. I don't even know if you guys can hear me on this because of the wind. But we're almost up there, but this, I had to stop and record this because this is really beautiful. This is insane. How are you feeling? I'm good. I'm looking forward to the top. Hey? That's where the... That's where the <laughs> Getting bored. Tassia and stuff. No, no, I'm not bored. I'm good. Getting bored waiting for me. No, no, it's cool. Those are puppies. At the top. Finally. Finally. And just look at this. Holy... So moist. Yeah. Moist. Hacks all the way up. Oh, this is good. Let's get some water. Let's go get some mountain, mountain river water. So we just came from the side here of the hill down here into the ravine. So there's a river here. The dogs are drinking. We're on the way down. I cut my foot here, as you can see. Uh, so the fires often come through here and the stems of the tree burnt and made it like a long, thin um, thing to you know, basically stab my foot and that's what happened. But it's not that bad, I'll just wash it out with some water from the river here. Should be alright. How are you feeling? Oh, it's actually bleeding. Eh? Yeah, so I'm just going to clean it out a bit, let it dry out and then I should be, should be all good. So, we have seen Drosera, how, how soon would you say? Um, Another 5-10 minutes? Like yeah, 5-10 yeah. minutes we'll see some more drastra. I'm keen. Cool man. So we just went past the riverine here. Odin found us some Ramentasia. Check that. Look at that lovely stalk. You can see here, right here on the tips of my finger. Praying right next to Hilaris. Wow. Where's the other one? Yeah, it's another little colony. Some more. Oh wow. Right there. Where's the other one right here? I can't see them. Oh, there it is, yeah. So, oh, these got stuck on by the dogs, but there they'll be okay. And it's so, it's so nice to see them up here. If you look at the, the soil here, it's, it's like ash. It's, it's sand. Dig a little bit down, and you can probably see, but I can definitely feel gets more moist and damp. So these dudes definitely have super, super long um, taproots, tap yeah, to get that moist water, which keeps them 
alive and that water is super cold as well so mm. keeps them nice and cool you know, just a bit higher we'll see some more ramentasia and we're going to turn left and we'll get some uh cunifolia some nice alicia and some admirables those are the good ones that we really at that other river side yeah just i think the wetland somewhere around there actually.